Hey guys, Terry Beefcake Reeves, Beefcake Racing. Just wanted to let you take a look at our 22 Ford F-150. We're about to do our first start with the Cobra Jet, so I'm just gonna show you a few things and take you around what we've done. All right guys, what you'll see here is the updated, the newest version of the Ford Cobra Jet Manifold. Pretty sharp. Uh, one of the best NA intakes that you can get. Now, to make the intakes fit for the Gen 4 uh, F-150s, the bolt pattern is actually different on the F-150 uh, Gen 4s than it is Gen 1 through 3 Mustang. So liver noise, and I, I'll put some pictures up, but liver noise has come up with a set of adapters uh, to basically cross pattern these. I've seen some guys drilling heads out and doing different things. I mean, there's always things you can do, but this adapter system for the Cobra Jet, the Boss Intake, the 18 Manifold, whatever you want to do. Our friends at FIC, if you look in there, uh, our Vortec kit will actually be here tomorrow. So we will be d installing one of the first Vortec supercharger systems. But the uh, guys at FIC, they sent us some 1440 uh, FIC injectors. Uh, we do plan on E85 with the boost. So thanks to Randy and the guys over there, they always take care of us. Uh, Justin over at Four Innovations. Uh, we will be doing a complete fuel system. We do have these all the way up till 2023 F-150. We are going to be doing an F-150 fuel system. For now, uh, Justin sent us a set of his rails with the OEM line integration. That's your uh, high pressure pump on that side. And then if you come over here on this side, you'll see the uh, integration to the OE, uh, OE line right there. Um, VMP, uh, Justin over there sent us one of his 69 millimeter twin jets. Um, the mass air sensor actually, Livernoise has in their adapters, they have a provision for the mass air sensor, or not the mass air, I'm sorry, for the uh, MAP sensor. I'm used to the Mustangs. The, these run on speed density. So, um, wondering if you might get a little turbulence there. We're about to find out, see how the idle is. We did cap off the vacuum there. On the other side of the Cobra Jet, there is a provision for a MAP sensor as well that you can drill out in the back of the manifold, but we're going to see how the liver noise adapters works. Uh, VMP also sent us one of their extension harnesses here uh, that allows your throttle body to fit and work. So we're about to do a first startup. Uh, we've got all the hoses hooked up. We've got the lines in. Um, I'm going to be looking for fuel leaks as well because we just did the uh, fuel lines. We did a couple key cycles. We didn't see anything. I think we're going to be good, but let's go ahead and fire up and see, see how she sounds and what she does. The guys over at Juggernaut sent us a custom tune for the FIC 1440s and with the data for the uh, throttle body. So let's see how this works. Like we got a clean start, that's always a good thing. Check uh, again, we did a line at the back, small line right there. Let's just check, make sure we don't have any fuel leaks going on. Hear the idle coming down a little bit. Everything seems to be good. It's hard to see, but I want to try to get down here. And uh, all right, DJ, give it a little throttle on and off. Couple more. So you can see those twin jet throttle blades working good. Again, the guys over at Juggernaut uh, working hard to help us out there. Since this is a speed density system, the cold air kit really doesn't matter. Uh, everything runs off the map sensor, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, we do have one of the PMAS air intakes for the 15 and up Mustang. We're going to, I think the tube and everything's probably going to fit good. So we're going to try to integrate that in here real quick and uh, then take it out for a drive. So far, so good. We're going to put this uh, PMAS on, see how it works, take her out for a spin.